Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rob with Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Nginx container on uh, Open Media Vault. So we we'll go straight into this is the container we're going to use. It's just called Nginx. So we're going to go into my Open Media Vault, and this is you go to Services, Compose Files, and I have the Compose files. So from those Compose files, you create a Docker container, which will be Nginx. If you don't know what Nginx is, Nginx is just so you can hold websites that's what it is i mean it has a lot more capability than that but uh let's show you how to get the container installed and do a very quick uh simple web page on it not a web developer but i'm just going to show you how it works so first of all we're going to go ahead and create a new file we're going to call it this one nginx nginx i already have the yaml file for this so i'm just going to copy and paste now this link is going to be in the description for this yaml you can just copy and paste straight from there so this is very basic service nginx and then container name this is the name that you want on your container then host name this is the host name for the container the image nginx this is we're pulling it straight from this right here nginx docker hub now for ports so whatever you have on the left is what's going to be on your host machine so right now i have this ip 10.0.0.40 to access this you're going to do colon 8080 now if you have the unified controller this is not going to work because it used that port you can change this to like something else right 8081 or 8181 uh, but basically this port is what you're going to use to access your nginx port 80 is what it's going to map on the inside that's going to be used by the nginx container um, but right is the container the left is your host now this pretty much should be it now for volumes so you need to have a place where you provide your html file the index and all the little web elements that you have now in this case it's going to be very simple um, where i chose to put it is in using this change to compose data path and then i'm asking it to create a hello world folder and then create me this HTML folder. So anything that we want that wants to be hosted on that Nginx website, we're going to go ahead and throw it into this HTML. Now that is just going to map into this path right here. So if you don't know what this is, change to compose data path. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Now, if you go into services, I mean, compose and settings, you can see that we have this app data here. And what this app data, once you put an app data in here, it allows you to substitute change to compose data path. Now, this is really good because you don't have to remember the whole path. And I'll show you the real path. Like this app data, you have to set up a storage share folder uh, is right here. So you do create. If you don't know what i'm talking about i do advise i do have another video link in the description how to set up open media vault from the beginning and get the omv extras and docker and compose installed so check that out if, if you need more explanation on this so basically this is my app data and you can see the absolute path this is the actual path of the hard drive and you can see data docker app data so i'm just going to click this little paper so i can copy the path now i'm going to go back to services compose files and i'm going to go ahead and start the container let me zoom in this a little bit uh so we're going new tab 10.0.0.40 this is the one that i have and do colon 8080 you see that we have the nginx for all three forbidden because we don't have anything on there um, so to get something in there we're going to go ahead and, and open up uh, our command line and we're going to do ssh root at 10.0.0.40 this is going to be the ip address on your open media vault all right so if you remember we went ahead and copied that absolute pass so i'm going to do cd and then right click and that's going to go into that. I'm going to do an ls-l. Now you can see all the folders that I have in there. But now you're going to see that we have this hello world. That's the folder that got just created by creating that container. So we're going to cd into hello world. Then you can just tab. So like he tab. And it's going to autocomplete. Then you're going to do tab again. Because it's a HTML. Now we're in this folder that we don't have anything in. Now here I'm going to do nano. 
you can use nano you can use vim you can use vi but i think nano is easier if you're copying and pasting now if for whatever reason you try nano and it doesn't work what you can do is apt install nano that's if you get a message that you don't have nano installed but in this case i do have it installed, so i'm going to do nano and then i'm going to call it index.html now in here i'm just going to provide something real quick of course i'm not a web developer so this is just going to be a little hello message so now to save this you're going to do control o and then you're going to do enter because you want to have that name then you can do control x to ex exit now you do ls dash l you're going to see that we have that index in there index.html now this won't work automatically oh i guess it did i thought we had to restore the container but i guess not but now you can see that we loaded that hello world from that index page now what if you don't want to use port 8080 and you want to use port 80 or port 443 uh, in that case we can create the container but with a mac vlan so there's going to be two ways of installing it basically the first part we already did i mean the first the first method now the second method to get this installed we can give a static ip address to our nginx container so we can use port 80 or port 443 or both I mean, it depends on your install so to do that i'm just going to go ahead and stop this container so i mean it, it, if you're fine using that port assignment 8080 or anything like that but then that's pretty much what you need um, now i'm going to show you how to modify this code and add a mac vlan if you don't know what a mac vlan is it's just a driver i mean it's like a bridge network for docker that allows you to use the interface from your host from open media vault to use an ip address in your network now i'm going to go here to compose networks now i have this local dash network this is my mac vlan um if you've been following my guides you should be able you should have this already but if you don't you can just click plus name call it local dash network the name the name doesn't matter but if you're following this guide and copy pasting the yaml it's better if you keep the same name so local.network driver you're going to do mac vlan parent interface this is like where how you connected your open media vault so minus nes 18 subnet uh telltale sign like in mine 10.0.0.40 my subnet is 10.0.0.0 for slash 24 Yours might be different. Yours might be what 192.168.0.04/24 or 192.168.1.04/24. So it just depends on your network. Um, I can't really answer you this one unless I mean the hint that you have is whatever you have here. Uh, basically, it's gonna be a zero at the end 4/24. I mean that's not the case all the time, but if it's a very standard network, you should be able to do it like that now for gateway minus 10.0.0.1 10.0.0.1 and then you click save now i'm not going to save it because this is exactly the same thing that i have right now on the other one so i'm just going to go ahead and escape from here so now that we have this local dash network mac vlan we're going to go back to compose files and then here on nginx i'm going to go ahead and edit now here in host names, we can add a network section. We call it network with the S colon and then enter space, space, space. It's going to be three spaces. And then I'm just going to call this hello world N for network. The name doesn't really matter, but it just has to match when you link it on the bottom. You'll see later. Now here we're going to do is the you know, three spaces again and then ipv4 underscore address now i'm just gonna give it something in my network that i know that i don't have anything on uh this, this might be different on your case but this is i know like i don't have any ips used in, under this under the hundreds 10.0.100 i don't have anything below that so i'm using that ports you no longer need ports if you're using a mac vlan so i'm just gonna comment those out now this is just telling it hey this i want to use i want to create this network and i want to use this ip address on now finally what you need to do is you enter here on 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 the last line you're going to do networks colon enter 
and then you're gonna three spaces and you're gonna spell spell the same thing hello world and colon this is the same name that you have up here like they have to match because that's the way you're basically doing assigning or what's it called like uh, describing this network um that's i'm not that's not the technical term but uh we're kind of linking to it now here we're gonna do three spaces again then we name now here's important so whatever we name the mac vlan this is what you're going to specify here so this is local dash network so if you name your your mac vlan network something else this is where you would change it if you follow this guide then local dash network would work now enter and then you're going to do external dot true make sure that the syntax is exactly like the way i mentioned with the three spaces three spaces and don't use tabs because if you do you're gonna break the yaml file i'm gonna save this now basically what we just have done here is we are gonna when we start this nginx container it's no longer gonna be using uh this port 8080 so we're gonna go ahead and start now we go to here to nginx if you refresh you're gonna see it's not gonna work because we specified that the container is gonna be on 10.0.0.95 you can see that it opened up hello world and uh that'll be pretty much it guys i mean i'm uh don't forget to like comment if you have any questions or any video ideas i'm open to suggestions i'm open to any ideas i need uh, for me to try any other operating system like TrueNAS, Casa OS, or Proxmox, uh, let me know what you guys want to see and, and so I can start adding those things to my list. Uh, thank you, everyone that has uh, supported me. Really appreciate it. Thank you.